Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about misspending money and magic. And the reason I'm talking about this is because recently I had a run of pretty much uh, regrettable buying decisions. And then I had a really good buying decision. So I want to take you through the kind of how I analyze whether or not I should buy this or not, especially for larger deals. So for any deal around, let's say over $500, I'll take two examples. One was buying, what was it, 12 boxes of Modern Masters. Uh, I did sell the cases for pretty, I got the deal I wanted to do. It just was a lot longer. It took a little longer than I would have wanted. And secondly, it was more complicated. So I had a deal for, I believe, $225 a box or $900 a case or $2,700 for 12 boxes sealed cases of free sealed cases. Now the sealed cases is going to come become important later in the story. Essentially people decided one person said I have uh, three other friends. We live in an area near you. We're going to all buy a box. We're going to put down a deposit. Another person's like oh I'll put down a deposit. Another person said I'm going to put down a deposit. We only initially needed to put down the half the order and I was going to foot most of that myself but also ask uh, the person who was going to order four of them because that was the most everyone else was ordering one or two to put down his deposit because I wanted to make I was going to add two boxes on top of that and that would have been a six box deposit for the entire case. Uh, no, actually he was going to put down like three boxes. I forget what, somehow me, him, and another guy was going to put down enough money and be fair to everybody. Well, the night before you're supposed to get the uh, boxes, um, actually the store owner leaves at like five. So we already, I already confirmed with him and I think it was like six or seven o'clock. I get a call saying, no, we can't do the deal. And that was the night that the deposit had to be made. And I was like, okay, well... Huh, that's uh, interesting. And this was a very bad decision, but I'm gonna tell you, I didn't lose money from it. I got exactly what I wanted from it eventually, but it was a little stressful to be kind of cornered into that little, I didn't even open the cases, or I didn't open any of the boxes on camera at the time because like they had to be kept sealed. That was the deal from the other store. They, they ran out because they were gonna draft it heavy. They wanted the cases sealed and they would buy one, two, or all the cases. And if they were going to buy all the cases, they would open the cases. And there was like, um, so I trust the owner a lot and he trusts me and we've done quite a bit of business together. But at the same time, you know, a sealed case is a sealed case, right? You need to keep this case sealed. So I couldn't open any boxes on my channel, which you guys probably noticed. And you guys know I open boxes a little differently from most people. Um, <laughs> Anyway, that was a bad decision making, like that was bad decision making on my part, mainly because I should have realized my subscribers from last time, from Modern Masters 2013, this exact scenario happened. And actually I made, um, you know, I didn't make, I had a lot of trading value. And I did extremely well because those boxes went from like 200 and like 10 I think it was like 200 a box what I purchased them at and then they went to like 280 overnight over like two week span and obviously now you're sitting on boxes and obviously these subscribers who ordered these boxes but didn't pay for them now want to buy them for 200 when they're 280 or re retailing for like 300 and plus. Now like you just gotta kind of like understand my general feeling about, I get so many posts about, hey, I have an altar, I wanna trade it for you. Cause you guys know I love altars. And the value on these altars in my mind is way higher than they normally would be. And that's because people know I like altars. Now it doesn't really make sense for me to pay more. So if an altar is really worth $20, um, in I've, had altars that I believe were worth $20 and I'm pretty good at like pinpointing the price on you know the general price range of an altar and having 
people say, no, I want $80 for it, I want a dual land for it, and it's just ridiculous, the card itself is not good, and the altar itself is not good. And before people start like complaining about it, I have a collection of altars. I know what they are worth, generally speaking. I know how much time they do. I draw my own cards sometimes. I do my own altar sometimes. I know how much time it takes. I will always pay a fair price to the artist, but I'm not going to pay a premium price if, let's say, you buy the card for $20 from an artist, and then suddenly it's $80 because you own it. Like, that does not make sense to me. And that's the general, um, that's why I don't really trade or sell on YouTube, although, like, I have a collection that people would be interested in, uh, because, honestly, the deals I get are borderline, I guess that's the subscriber, the Modern Master thing is kind of a good example of, um, they didn't pay for a box of 200, and now they wanted a box at one, they wanted a box two weeks later, when the box had already gone up to 280, but they didn't want to pay 280, they wanted to pay 200, and it's like, you know, I, I don't know how to say it, but you didn't put down deposit, you didn't pay a cent for the box. And the same with uh, what happened this time. And I'm not complaining about it, I'm just saying that I made a bad decision based on what facts I had previously, which should have alerted me that people were not going to put down deposit ever for this group buy, uh, if you will. And it was 225 at cost, I wasn't charging any more for it. In fact, I would have to do more, I would have to pick up the boxes, I would have to deliver the boxes, etc. And it was to help my subscribers. Now, um, before, like, I want to leave on a positive note, um, because I feel like it is important. Stores, I love stores, and stores are willing to help you out. Actually, I'm just going to give a shout out to one in uh, Houston. Insomnia Games had 500 graphic design books. Um, just to give you a general idea of what what my uh, what you guys, some of you, are like. I posted those 500 books, and then one of the comments was, "Hey, I didn't know you were a graphic designer. You suck at it, or like you're you're a terrible graphic designer." I was like, first of all, you really offended me because that's the stuff that on my YouTube." isn't like my own graphic design work. It is someone who I really like a lot. I like her work, I commissioned her, I pay her every single for every single one of those, and she deserves to be paid. Um, and you know, that comment kind of annoyed me that like somebody would say something like that. Uh, where it's like, why would you ever say that? Like, why would you ever say that your graphic design work sucks? Or you, I'm surprised you're a graphic designer because you're no good at it. And none of the work on my channel is actually mine. And first of all, it's more offensive that he said that when it's not my work. It's work I have hired and commissioned out because I felt like it was work that was incredibly well done. And I still feel like that. That's still hired up. I mean, she still has two more left to go, and then that completes another set of four. But she's done logos, backgrounds. I don't even know. Like everything on this channel, essentially. Uh, these, you know, more of them are, are coming, and it's just, uh, I don't know, it's offensive to me, but that's the uh, general feedback I sometimes get from subscribers, is they want massive discounts, they want me to do trades that really don't make any sense, they want to sell me alters that they haven't created, but they purchased for $20, and now they want to trade for $80 worth of cards, of legacy cards, they want to do all this stuff that like, um, and that's why I stay really far away from trading, selling, um, even like to the point of, that's why the, it was such a bad decision that I made to rely on uh, the deposit on Tuesday. It had to be deposit Tuesday, I could get Thursday at midnight. I, it should have concerned me and I should have realized 100% because you're on the phone and you're talking with them, you're texting them. I probably sent 50 texts to that one guy. Um, and I called him on the phone and I mean it's like, it's like I did all of that and I should have can't count, I, I'm not able to speak right now because I'm a little, I'm a little upset at myself for believing that this could have happened the way it happened because I spent a lot of time negotiating the price. 
I spent a lot of time saying, hey, this is the deposit and this is when it needs to be made. And you have to be, spend that time and see the result being what it eventually became, I was very sad. But for the store owners, and this is why I primarily deal with store owners, they understand business and they will help you out. So this store owner had 500 graphic design books. Graphic design books are not cheap. And he was selling them for eight of them for $20. And I was like, can you give me a break? I'll buy all of them. I, I'll buy the 500 plus at $800. And it took them a, a day and they said yes. Um, and that's what happened. Uh, typically, most of the business I do selling and trading is with store owners that I know and I have a good relationship with. Um, and that's why a lot of you ask questions like, why don't I trade as much or why don't I sell? Or It's because the offers I get are just borderline um, some of like I I don't want to do that I'm not going to do this but if I were to put like all my offers that I've gotten you guys would have been like wow like there was a ghost council Orzov the original one in guild pack and somebody wanted I think $80 in trade for it like I um, at the time of force of will and the altar was just like it literally was all black and then like two really well drawn eyes that I could have done in 15 minutes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that was, um, the Modern Masters pre-order was my greatest mistake I've ever made. And I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm just going to buy for me, buy for my friends, and then that's it. Like, I cannot, um, I cannot put myself out there any more than I have because I just know that the, the results will be exactly the same and I shouldn't really um, expect uh, that. I don't know, I felt like I wanted to make this video to really for the subscribers when somebody promises you something, in my opinion, yes, you know, trust them, but also protect yourself against the worst possible scenario. And in this case, for the Modern Master case, I didn't do that. Bye, guys.